Hey guys, welcome to another session of our BTL where we go through the patch notes or any news related items and I share my thoughts on a couple highlights here and there. Um, actually, real realistically speaking, most people know what that means. It means that uh, I don't actually read. <laughs> That's why I say I, I do highlights because uh, I've explained this on stream as a joke, but it's not really a joke. When I see a, when I see a picture, I uh, I read the stuff near it. If I don't see a picture, I don't read it. It's kind of like a kid. Um, but anyways, I do have uh, some things to say about this patch note and my thoughts. Um, you know, a lot of things it's like, okay, if you see someone picking their nose or whatever, you kind of have a presumption about them. Whatever Smallgate does, obviously they are under our watchful eyes, and uh, you can you can make some assumptions, um, but uh, there are definitely things that when they do something, um, it's, a, it's a, it may not be a good sign. Um, I don't want to be extra negative here, but uh, there's some exciting stuff. Before I even continue on this video recording tonight, I will be doing my thoughts on uh, Elfelt Valentine as I usually do. Although it's going to be a bit tricky since uh, she's going to be released uh, much quicker. But we also do have a preview on Ray, which seems incredibly amazing so far, but I'll get to that. Uh, I'll get to that later. Regardless, the uh, side story is continuing on the third week here. This is the last week. Uh, Ms. Uh, Confile will be uh, part of the bonus. This was not, of course, in, in the game last year since uh Elfelt valentine is new uh so uh yeah that's we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a bit um yeah so the uh tournament hard you can see that Elfelt valentine is there and on the very last portion of the story we get her surprise side story which is kind of cool i was not expecting much but uh it must not be super long but uh, i mean she looks gorgeous so that's great if you guys haven't watched the video uh, definitely check it out i think you know, from, from a, like a very, very brief level, because I don't want to spoil what I'm going to talk about in another video. I think she's good. Uh, definitely pretty broken, actually. Uh, I want to say like OP, OP. She's not going to define a certain meta, but she's definitely a very good one to have. A uh, very good debuffer. You can secure debuffs, you could, you could crowd control in a way. And she's a Fire Ranger, which uh, I think uh, a lot of people have been uh, wanting. She'll be the second Fire Ranger, at least meta. Um, the other one being Fire Lydica at the moment. Um, yeah, so... The, and her artifact is incredibly good too. So, Alpha Valentine, here we go. Uh, very quick, uh, Fire does a barrage of bullets at the enemies. This is S1. 65% chance to make them um, unbuffable for one turn. Uh, it's up to a 75% chance. Uh, having that on a, on a S1 is very good. I actually said this about Lilibet uh, a long time ago, but Lilibet, I believe, does have a lower proc rate, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's like 50% at the most. Um, but this is a 75, so it's really a big, big shift uh, in the meta here. Uh, being a ranger, she actually naturally is pretty beefy in terms of stats. Uh, there's no stat preview here. Um, but it, uh, you definitely can see it in the video, so I uh, definitely check that out. Uh, she's pretty, she's pretty good HP, HP pool, uh, decent speed, not super fast, but decent. I mean, Rangers. Uh, As two is uh, traps the enemy in a cake before attacking them with a cake cutting blade, increases the critical hit chance for two all allies for two turns. So two turn crit rate buffer. Uh, when the enemy is defeated, also decreases defense of all remaining allies for two turns, and then uh, damage dealt in uh, proportional to the number of debuffs inflicted on the enemy. So if she could get the kill on the S2, then uh, everybody else gets a defense break, which is so it's a, but it's a single target attack, um, but it does a buff and it does an AOE debuff if you could kill it. So it's a conditional debuff, but still very good. It means it's a 100% chance to proc. But of course, you do need to have effectiveness and uh, beat their effect resistance check. So um, that is very... Uh, that's already very good. Uh, in terms of uh, damage dealt here, you can see that there's a 20, 30, 40... Uh, 40 45? Holy crap, that's actually a lot of damage. Yeah, 45% raw damage. We'll have to see what the damage mods are. Um, but I, I think, I think, I mean, to make it like a conditional on a kill, I'm assuming this is pretty strong. Plus, this is single target. Generally speaking, single target skills are on average higher than AoE skills, um, just because they deal only one 
uh, to one target versus a uh, AoE. Uh, and then the third uh, skill uh, shoots a pulse at the uh, at a love bullet, bullet of love at the enemy, dispelling one buff. And then before making a 75% chance to put them to sleep for one turn and decreases the defense for two turns and grants an extra turn to the caster. Uh, in terms of a skill wise, that's absolutely packed. That's absolutely packed. So realistically, what you could do is go to S3 and then do the S2. So she didn't become she not only becomes a single target defense breaker, she becomes an AoE defense breaker. But anyways, uh, I don't want to spoil the my full thoughts on her and her artifact. So uh, yeah, um, in terms of pullable, definitely pullable. Uh, thank goodness she's not a speed imprint. Uh, being a limited hero, well, we were kind of like saying, like, "Ooh, if she's a speed imprint, man, then that's gonna be super baity because then people are gonna be pulling multiple." Um, but she's a uh, attack. I think it's attack, release, and effectiveness self. Um, so. Not as crazy. The artifact is is just as good though. So she's really packing that defense break. Um, sixty for, up to a sixty percent chance to uh, uh, decrease the defense of enemy for one turn after single attack. Um, that it cannot be affected by counter attack, dual attack, or extra attack. Um, what that makes it makes it a lot more like uh, narrowed down in terms of like okay, what kind of hero you want to put this on. Um, like you, obviously you want to put on a counter one, um, probably go for a higher speed one. Um, I did I did read one of the comments I believe on the YouTube video. Someone was saying that oh man, can you imagine this artifact with SSPs S1? You get a target debuff and a defense break, um, and that's a really good point. Um, I mean if if you're not gonna use this for for L felt, uh, if you put it on L felt, I mean it does unbuffable plus defense break, and then pretty much it does a defense break on all three skills. Um, I'm pretty sure other rangers can benefit from this as well, uh, but probably more supporty type. Um, yeah, so artifact wise, hero wise, it's very good. But here's my here's my problem: um, the availability. As we were as we were uh, you know passing the the time through the uh, two weeks of guilty gear so far. We were saying that um, it's pretty tough because uh, if you're a new player and there was Biken and there was Dizzy to pull for, and now L felt Valentine, and I do think that she's actually good. Uh, in terms of like brokenness though, I do think that Dizzy's probably still more broken. Um, I mean, a defense breaker with pretty much, you know, if you put an artifact on, with pretty much all three skills, I mean, that is, that is deadly stuff. Um, and the fact is that you can ignore resistance uh, on her S1. Um, and so, so 100%, you ignore resistance on S1, you can put them to sleep, so you grant a critical hit for sure, so you can scale up a critical hit damage and then go into the S2 and then defense break the entire team, uh, assuming they're on immunity on that turn. Um, she's, she's very good. So the artifact is good, the hero is good. Um, I would say her artifact, I, I actually like this artifact over Necronundine and over uh, Torn Sleeve. So if you compare the three banners, right now she seems to be the most baity. But then, well, the question is again, why does not this? Like we we had this talk before uh, between me and my community. It's like, well, if the event only lasts for one more week, why do you think the banner is gonna end? And I'm like, yeah, that's true. But uh, there was no other. You know, we, we I don't think I don't think we've ever seen one where the event ends and the banner was still there. Like a limited hero, I'm talking about. So Elfeld is a very very weird one. Now here here's where I uh, I'll admit I uh, I lost a bet uh, versus my my friend Dwale. <laughs> I was saying that uh, because of the short time, assuming that it was only a one week banner, I was thinking that we would get one for free. Turns out we don't. One Elfeld copy for free, we don't get one. Um, I'm okay with that, but I lost a bet. So uh, Dwale, if you're hearing this, uh, I owe you. Um, and uh, you'll you'll see a DM coming. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, one week banner, man. What's what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel I feel it's kind of baity though. Uh, speaking on behalf of just the community in general. Now, no, look, look, look. I get it. I get it. Um, you know, they're they're, they're doing things lately that uh, really are trying to incite more pay to play players. But just I mean, even myself, where I'm, I'm, I would, I would. Some people say I'm a whale. I think I'm, I'm really more of a dolphin, or I try to be. Um, like. It's if it wasn't because I already pulled bike and dizzy last year, I would be struggling right now. And I I think on a personal level, 
if I allow myself to be biased, I would be uh, complaining about it more. But in terms of like, I really do understand like if you did go for biking and dizzy, um, and I did some viewer summons for people who did for biking and dizzy, and they 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 lost all their covenant bookmarks. Now you're getting people to pull for alpha on the last week with only one week available. Hmm. I mean, it's doable. Uh, it's just if you're free to play, uh, you know, by this point, I'm, I'm pretty sure your 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 skystone and your potentially your gold for the uh, spammy secret shop is going to be much more limited. So the pressure to say that oh she's a limited hero, I yeah you know, I guess I'll spend a hundred dollars on this pack. Um, I don't know. I feel it's not a not a really cool move, but. Uh, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're a free to play player and you had pulled on the previous two banners, how are you doing? How are you doing on your resources? I'd like to know because I, I, I'm assuming you're not doing so well. I mean, it's pretty expensive, especially if you pitied both. Blood Moon Haste, I already made a video on this one. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, definitely search up uh, my initial thoughts of ML Haste. I personally will be skipping this one. Um, I don't like his, uh, his design. In terms of his uh, skill sets, He'll be useful against Arby, um, but if you struggle with Arby still, I think I think you don't need to rely on him. I think you need to find other options. Um, but uh, I yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm not gonna pull for it. Um, Mystic rotation. Um, the changes. Uh, you know, some people did uh, were saying that when I was uh, addressing the this letter to Smilegate. Some people were saying that, hey, Jagan, it's probably because they're running on the four stars. And I think I think you're right, because uh, whoever said that and left it in the comments, bingo. Um, they pretty much uh, pretty much said it here. Um, but uh, anyways, so that's coming. This is interesting as well. Uh, new packs to be introduced. Um, they used to introduce packs in a separate notice. I am interested to, s to know like what the thought process is behind on a pack reveal within a patch update realistically speaking i mean yes that makes sense but it, they didn't used to do that before so it's kind of like mm, not sure I, i've been covering this for the past couple weeks i don't like talking about packs too much i don't like talking about how people should be spending or whatnot but rather the the packs release makes me start thinking about uh, you know what they're what they're doing now the availability for this is only ranked 41 to 50 I mean, so no one should be salty about it. Uh, I mean, it's 75 equipment. Right now, we're all chasing 90s. So yeah, not salty about it. But uh, I mean, rare 35 heroic and epic still 12%. If you are listening to this and you're like a relatively new player, it's like, hey, is this pack worth it? I would say no. Depends on how, I mean, how cheap it is. But the, the problem is that you're most likely getting a lot of pieces that you're not gonna be using anyway. Uh, again, 35% rare. It's not too difficult to get to uh, like Wyvern 10, Wyvern 11, um, or you know, the, the Hunt 10 and 11 counterparts. And just start getting like 70 gear with maybe 80, 85 to, for your progression that is. But I do get it. I mean, these packs are supposed to be helping new players to reach that level so they can hit now the 90 grind. It's a separate topic in and of itself, but uh, the Catalyst Booster Pack as well. <laughs> Definitely uh, a lot more packs. I mean, look, they're, 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 they're usable. Not saying that like no one's gonna not buy them. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna buy them. A Catalyst Booster Pack is going to really help those players who are already spending crazy amounts on Leaf Pack just to do hunts. They don't want to really go grind AP points and grind a catalyst. So yeah, let's say if they have a hero they want to level up or you know make usable, so skill enhancing or awakening or whatnot. And they're like, mm, you know, I have I have enough fodder and doggos. I don't need to go grind the story. I'll just pick up this catalyst booster pack. Very very convenient. Uh, very smart for them to implement. But whether or not this being good, meh. Not sure. Uh, Artifact Charm Pack. Now this is available once per day. Um, <coughs> and uh, you, can, uh, you can only get it, uh, 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 get a five star artifact uh, after the, the drop. So it's kind of like our growth pack. So after you pull a five star artifact, then this becomes available. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Um, or Mystic Summon or uh, Artifact Summon Ticket. Uh, so basically only when you get a five star five star artifact so it's kind of like the growth pack now in my opinion it will probably be pretty 
like good deal in terms of like it's probably like gonna be like ten dollars usd uh kind of like at the growth pack right now uh but again like <sighs> yeah i know it's something like i'm not gonna talk about the packs They're, they gotta make their money somewhere right so uh anyways um let's keep moving down i wanna I think, I think I'm pretty much I think I'm pretty much done here. It's not much. Yeah, they are they are changing the they are changing the uh, the havoc uh, for the draw so that uh, uh, the gain havoc greater, but the towers uh, then the towers remaining health. So basically, the uh, havoc will remain the same, uh, but the health of the tower doesn't go down. So if you do the victory and draw thing. Um, I don't know if this is actually talking about that specifically here, but uh, that was in a previous update. I just this kind of reminded me of it. As you can see, I don't I don't read. Necro and Undine and uh, Dizzy will now be re released in World Arena. This is very scary times. Um, definitely do your placement matches, which I actually have done already. Do your placement matches before you do Dizzy because even uh, even. Uh, even a player who doesn't have like really high gear, well, if they have a dizzy on their team, it is uh, it is pretty GG. Ha ha ha! No pun intended. Oh, <laughs> uh, it is. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, accidental pun. Um, it's pretty it's pretty game over to be honest. Like dizzy is pretty broken. Um, and, and and people know that you don't need to build her like extremely well. You can. You don't have to build her extremely well to make her really good. So uh, it's just because she's actually a very loaded hero. Um, I think that's pretty much it I want to talk about. Oh, this one is good, this is good. Arena as well. So um, you can now choose Skystone Mystic Medals uh, for your reward. Um, in my opinion, the Mystic Medals, I have to, have to, have to see how much it is. Um, Skystone at the moment is pretty good. Let's say champion or above. Your weekly Skystone getting from arena champion or above is is really good. It really helps. Um, that's a, that's a ton of runs for hunt. They will have to see if that's a that's like good enough to you know like if the Mystic Metal number is actually good enough to to beat the amount of Skystone. God, I, in my opinion, I think that there's going to be a lot of especially top players. They're gonna be probably going for Skystone still, and not the Mystic Medals itself. Um, without about to work out the math on, uh, you know, people actually buying, like people able to spend and buy Mystic Packs and getting Skystone through there and getting getting the Mystic Medals through there, versus like using their Skystone that most likely they're in Legend if they're that whaley. Um, using that Skystone and uh, missing out on Skystone and getting the Mystic Medal. So that that Mystic Medal amount would have to be pretty high i would say the only only way that it would like go where the mystic metal is actually more worth is if the player is mainly f mostly free to play and it's really hard to get mystic metals anyway and they're still missing a bunch of the ml heroes that are going to be appearing now especially now with a three week cycle appearing now in a mystic banner so ie myself oxlot's missing rb missing ruel missing a couple a couple of the i would say the core Kind of like the meta and especially in the rta kind of like meta picks i'm missing those for sure so i'll have to look at this but uh, that's an interesting change it's a very interesting change it only shows that uh the uh although although the uh weeks are now shortened in terms of the mystic rotation it really does show that they know that it's going to be harder for people to get the mystic medals so that's quite interesting that they know about it but uh we'll, we'll see um, and everything else, I think I'm good here. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for this one. Uh, my thoughts on this uh, this patch note. Mainly, I think the the thing that strikes me the most is that one week Elf felt Valentine limited banner again. The li good limited hero, good limited artifact, but one week. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna end that for the video recording. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of everything I talked about, or if there's anything I missed, definitely feel free to bring it down because I love reading the comments, guys. Um, I may not always reply them, but I read all of them, trust me. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna end this for the video recording. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.